this section, we're going to talk about descriptive measures, and that's going to focus specifically on statistics. Remember, on Monday we talked about probability, but today we're going to be focusing on statistics. Now, statistics is the branch of mathematics that deals with the collecting, the organizing, and the analyzing of collections of numbers. This collection of numbers is called data. Here's an example of the data in a frequency table. So in the first table, we have a collection of math test scores. Below that, we have a frequency table. All a frequency table is, is identifying how many times that grade showed up. How many times did the score 81 show up on different math tests? Well, there was a total of two. So if I look at the top chart, top table, the third one in is an 81, and the second to last is an 81. So it showed up two times. So the frequency and how often it showed up for 81 is two. How many times did 85 show up? Three. I can go ahead and count the first one, okay, and the two in the middle, 85. So it showed up three times. That's the frequency. Now if I want to talk about the range, the range is the difference. Remember, when we say difference, we're usually talking about subtraction, right? The range is the difference between the greatest score and the least score in a set of data. So generally, I'm just saying, what is the difference? What is the space between the largest and the smallest? Okay, here I have a frequency table. I want to know what is the range of the scores in the frequency table. So I'm going to look at all the scores. What's the smallest? 81. What's the largest? 90. Now, in order to figure out the range, what I want to do is subtract. I want to subtract 81 from 90. When I subtract 81 from 90, that gives me 9. So the range is 9. The separation between the two, 9 points. So the equation for range will be greatest score minus the least score which is 90 minus 81, giving me 9. Now let's take a look at example 2. In this data table, we have two different weeks. But in those two weeks, we record how many hours we're working each day. So I want to know what is the range of hours worked during those two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and add those up. During the first week, if I add up the total number of hours, I work 25 hours, but in the second week I only work 20 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 25 minus 20 to give me a total of 5 hours as the difference. Now let's move to central tendency. The measures of central tendency describe the middle or the center of a distribution. And there are three terms that measure central tendency. The mean, the median, and the mode. You may be familiar with those three terms. Let's go ahead and take a look at them now. The mean. The mean is the sum of the scores divided by the quantity, or how many, of the scores in the set of data. So we find the total, the sum, and then we divided that by how many. Then we have the median. The median is the middle score, or the average of the two middle scores. In order, now if there's no middle number, find the two middle numbers and then average them to obtain it, the median. Now the mode, how frequent, remember how many times, and this is which one occurs most frequently, occurs the most, that would be the mode. Let's go ahead and do some practice problems. Find the mean of the number of stories among the tallest buildings in Chicago. So here we have the tallest buildings in Chicago, giving us how many stories, how many floors are in each building. Now remember, the mean is the sum per building divided by the number. So I'm going to have you right now try and work out this practice problem. Go ahead, pause it. When you're done, you can press play. So we're going to add up all the stories, and that's 682 stories, and there are a total of nine buildings. So I'm going to divide nine into 682. That's going to give me my mean. Nine into 682 gives me 75.7, which is technically 76 stories. So 76 stories would be the mean. 
Now let's do the median. The median is the middle amount. So what I want to do is I want to actually take all these stories, all these buildings, and I want to go ahead and put them in an ascending or descending order. I want to put them ascending, starting with the smallest, going up to the biggest. So the smallest number of stories, the building with the smallest number of stories, is going to be the Bank One Plaza. That's with 60. But I also have the AT&T Center, which is also 60. So they are both going to be at the beginning. That's if I'm going ascending. And then it's going to go all the way up to the Sears Tower, which is 110. Once I've done that, I can actually look at this and figure out the median. I can figure out which is the middle. You can go ahead and pause it. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think you know the answer? The median would be 66. That would be the Michigan Avenue building. Okay, let's go ahead and do the mode. The mode, remember, deals with which one occurs most frequently. I'm going to let you pause it and I want you to see which number, which number of stories occurs the most. Okay, so we went ahead and saw that there's one number that repeats twice because it repeats twice and all the other numbers don't repeat. 60 would be the mode.